So this video is talking about loss functions for classification. And I'm going to start with the basic classification error, which is just, just the fraction of points where our predictions don't equal the truth. Okay, so it's just the fraction of times that the sign of f doesn't equal the label y. Now, minimizing this quantity is usually computationally hard because it's a count of things, right? It's the, the count of times that y doesn't equal the sign of f. So um, people don't usually try to minimize this directly. They do something else. And so I'm going to derive what that is. Now, the first step in this is to um, rewrite y doesn't equal the sign of f as y times f is less than 0. These two quantities, of course, are the same because if y and f have opposite signs, then y doesn't equal the sign of f and y times f is less than 0. And if they have the same sign, then y equals the sign of f and y times f is greater than 0. Okay, cool. So we've done that. And now this quantity y times f actually ends up being really important. It's called the margin. And we talk about the margin many, many times. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plot this loss function as a function of the margin. Okay, so if y times f is negative, I lose a point. Okay, so the function is 1 if y times f is less than 0, and it's, one, it's 0 otherwise. Okay, so that's my, my loss function as a function of the margin. And I will tell you that in most uh, machine learning algorithms, it's not just less than zero, it's actually less than or equal to zero. So you even lose a point if y times f, if f is zero, right? If f is zero, you lose a point. Okay, now I want to plot a function here. This function increases as you, as you go to the left. And um, the decision boundary is this line in the middle. As you can see, the function missed a few points. Those points are in red. Those are misclassified. All right, so right now, the way I have everything plotted, I have, you know, f being positive on one side, f being negative on the other side, fine. But now I'm going to change up this plot. So instead of plotting, you know, this is this function, of, you know, the, the, the values of f, I want to plot the margins, okay? So in order to do that, I actually have to move the points around. I'm going to reflect the points that are misclassified all the way to the left side. So those are the points with negative margin. They're all misclassified. And then all the points with positive margin are going to go on the right. Okay. So instead of this being a plot of F, it's a plot of margins. Okay. And then the distance from the, the, the distance from the decision boundary is meaningful here. Okay. That's a sort of, um, uh, sort of confidence in the prediction. So if you think about it, then, um, so all the so just just to remind you, all the points on the left are misclassified, all the points on the right are correctly classified. So we lose a point if we're misclassified. We we don't lose a point if we're correctly classified. But there's there's more subtlety to it. Okay. So again, this is the function y times f is less than zero. But but if you think about it, there's more than just this like one or zero, right? If if the points were um, classified correctly with a large margin, okay, then, um, you know, here's where the classifier said, I know I'm correct. I'm going to give it a high score. And it actually was correct. But then on the other, other extreme, these are points, so where, where y times f is really, really small. Those are times when f was really big and y was, you know, y was the opposite sign, right? So that's where f was, the function was really confident. I, I'm really sure I got this right, but it actually got it wrong. <laughs> so, um, and then if you're near the decision boundary, well, even if you're correct, you're really, the function f is saying that it's not really sure. Okay, so even if you got it right, well, it's just sort of right. And if you got it wrong, it's just sort of wrong. Okay, so what we typically do in machine learning is we introduce these loss functions and the loss functions penalize you depending on the margin. So if you're very wrong, if you made a prediction that had, say, a very large positive value of x and you had a negative y, um, that's considered, that's a, a very, very bad negative margin. It's very, you know, large magnitude negative margin. And so here you were very, very wrong, in which case you suffer a very large loss here. 
And then um, if you were you know, very correct, you don't lose anything. But if you're somewhere in the middle, if you're near the decision boundary, you still suffer some penalty because you didn't, you weren't sure about it. You didn't get it exactly right. Okay, so these, and these loss functions, they're usually smooth, right? They're usually convex, and that allows us to minimize them. And the idea, of course, is that if you, you know, if you minimize this, the, if you minimize the loss function, then you are then you're hopefully also minimizing the misclassification error, right? It's like, it's like, you know, crunching something down where, you know, you hope that if you crunch the loss down, well, you know, the loss, the, the misclassification error is below it. So hopefully you're, you'll crunch that down too. And this actually works. It actually really works in practice. So if you minimize these loss functions, you minimize the, um, the, the misclassification error. So let me tell you about some of the typical loss functions that are used in classification. And uh, I just want to remind you that um, incorrectly classified is, is on the, the left, and correctly classified is on the right. Um, and there's my you know, zero one loss function that I told you about earlier. That's just, is it misclassified or not? And then um, here are some of the loss functions. So this is the exponential loss. It's e to the negative margin. That is at a boost loss function. And then uh, this loss function that's in light blue, that is the support vector machine loss function. That's kind of a, it's, a, it's called a hinge loss because it looks like a hinge. It's like two lines uh, that um, they hit, uh, you know, they hit each other. And then there's, there's no loss above that. And then you, you lose some amount of points linearly with um, how far you are below a margin of one. Okay. So then uh, there's the logistic loss, which is used in logistic regression. And so that's log of one plus e to the negative margin. All right, so these are all functions of the margin. So the margin is like a key quantity here. Okay, so just to, just to recap, um, we started with the misclassification error, and then we changed it to be a function of the margin, and then we upper bounded it by a loss, which is also a function of the margin. Okay, and then um, another, uh, another summary of important points. Um, the margin, it's, it's y times f. It measures how well point i is classified. And again, it's hard to, computationally hard to minimize the zero one loss directly. Some algorithms actually are able to do it, and some choose not to, uh, and they would prefer to minimize upper bounds for the zero one loss that involve the margin. Thanks.